Hello, my name is Kylie Sharp. I am from Troop 8191, and today I'll be performing a contrasting monologue. The first from In the Next Room by Sarah Rule, and the second from The Clean House by Sarah Rule. Thank you. My mother told me to pray every day since I was a little girl. To pray that you borrow everything, everyone you love, from God. That way your heart doesn't break when you have to give your son, your husband, or your mother back to God. I prayed, Jesus, let me be humble. I borrowed my son, I borrowed my husband, I borrowed my own life from you, God. But he felt like mine, not like God's, he felt like mine, more mine than anything. God must have this huge, horrible cabinet, all the babies who get returned, and all those babies, even with God himself to rock them to sleep, still they want their mothers. But so when I started to feel something for this baby, for your baby, I thought, no, take her back, God. When I first met her, all I could think was, she's alive and Henry's not. I had all this milk. I just wanted it to dry up. I thought, just get through the year. Your milk will dry and you will forget. The more healthy your baby got, the more dead my baby became. I thought of her like a tick. I thought, fill her up and pop. I hope every day you keep her, you keep her close to you. And you remember the blood that her milk came from. The blood of my baby, my Henry. Goodbye, Mrs. Gibbons. People who give up the privilege of cleaning their own house, they're insane people. How can you know if you've made any progress in your life if you don't clean? I love dust. The dust always makes progress. Then I remove the dust. That is progress. If I were not for dust, I think I might die. If there were no dust to clean, then there would be so much leisure time and so much thinking time and I would have to do something other than think and that thing might just be to split my wrists. Oh, that just popped out. I'm not a morbid person. Uh, my sister is a lovely person. She's a doctor at uh, an important hospital. I've always wondered how one hospital could be more important than another hospital. They're all just places for human waste. Places to put dead bodies. I'm sorry, I'm being morbid again. <laughs> uh, my sister has given up the privilege of cleaning her own house. A very personal privilege she has given up. She does not know if her husband is sleeping with a prostitute because she does not smell his dirty underwear. She does not know how long it takes for the dust to accumulate under her bed. All of these things she fails to know. I know when there is dust on the mirror. Don't misunderstand me, I am an educated woman. But if I were to die at any time during the day, no one would have to clean my kitchen. Thank you.